Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between TCP and UDP. So TCP is nothing but transmission control protocol. UDP is nothing but user datagram protocol. Okay. So TCP and UDP are the protocols used in transport layer in OSI reference model. So the differences between TCP and UDP is first point TCP is connection oriented protocol. Okay. Suppose we want to send the data from sender to the receiver. First we have to establish the connection before the transmission of data. So then transfer the data from sender to the receiver. After transmission of data is completed, then we have to close the connection between sender and receiver. So that is connection establishment. Second one transfer of data and remove the connection between sender and receiver. Next, in the case of UDP, UDP is the connectionless protocol. There is no connection between sender and receiver. Okay, so UDP is also called as datagram oriented protocol. And the second point is, in the case of TCP, we have guarantee say that the transmission of data from sender to the receiver is guaranteed received by the receiver that are sended from the sender. So that is reliability is high in transmission control protocol. But in the case of UDP, there is no reliability. There is no guarantee that the data is not received by the receiver that are sended from the sender. Next. Third point, TCP provides extensive error checking mechanism. Okay, error checking mechanism. Because it provides the flow control and acknowledgement of data. Okay, so it provides the extensive error checking mechanism. Because it provides the flow control and uh, uh, acknowledgement of data. These services are provided in data link layer and also transport layer but in the case of UDP so checksum is there as checksum is used as the error checking mechanism okay next one is sequence of data is sequence of data facility is available in TCP suppose I want to send uh, five packets from sender to the receiver. Whatever the order we have to follow at the sender, the same order is followed in at the receiver. So that follows each and every packet has a sequence number. So at the receiver side, we have to follow the sequence number which packet is received first and which packet is uh, uh, received next so for that purpose sequence of data facility is available in uh, tcp transmission control protocol but in the case of udp there is no sequence of data is available at a random order we have to follow to receive the packets that are sended from the sender by the receiver. Next one is TCP is comparatively slower than UDP but UDP is simple, faster and efficient than TCP. Next one TCP header size is 20 bytes but in the case of UDP header size is 8 bytes. Next one, TCP is heavy weight, but UDP is light weight. Next one, retransmission of lost packets uh, is possible in TCP, 
but there is no retransmission of lost packets in UDP. Suppose a sender sends 5 packets from the sender but the receiver receives only one first packet, second packet, fourth packet and fifth packet. So there is no receive of third packet. So then uh, the receiver sends the acknowledgement. I receive only first packet, second packet, fourth packet and fifth packet. So third packet is not received. So then the rece after receiving the message that are sent by the receiver, so the sender can retransmit the uh, third packet to the receiver. That retransmission of lost packets here third packet is lost so there is a negative acknowledgement from the receiver uh, so the sender receives that message so the third packet can send again so that is retransmission of data is available in transmission control protocol but in the case of UDP there is no retransmission of data Next one, TCP is used by HTTP protocol, HTTPS protocol, file transfer protocol, uh, simple mail transfer protocol and telnet, hypertext transfer protocol. So all these protocols use the transmission control protocol. But UDP user datagram protocol is used by DNS domain name service. So DHCP dynamic hypertext control protocol. PFTP, simple mail, simple mail transfer protocol, SNMP, RIP, VOIP, extra, etc. So these protocols use as the UDP. So these are the differences between TCP and UDP. So in the simple term, so first point TCP is connection oriented protocol, UDP is connection less protocol. In the case of TCP, retransmission of lost packets is available, but in the case of UDP, there is no retransmission of lost packets. So next one is here, uh, error checking mechanism is available, okay, but here only checksum is used as the error checking mechanism. Here reliability is a high, here there is no reliability, okay. Next one is TCP is comparatively slower but UDP is simple, efficient and faster. Here TCP header size is 20 bytes, UDP header size is 8 bytes. TCP is used by DHCP protocol, uh, HTTP protocol, HTTPS protocol, FTP protocol, Telnet protocol. But UDP is uh, used by only so DHCP protocol, VOIP protocol, RIP protocol, DHCP protocol. So these are the uh, sequence of data is available in TCP, but there is no sequence of data is available. So these are the main differences between TCP and UDP. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Dibbela Srinivasarao. Dibbela Srinivasarao. Thank you.